Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Bus Booking System. And uh, we have developed this project in VB.NET. And database, we are using the MySQL database. Sorry, MS Access database, not the MySQL. And we have developed this project using the Visual Studio 2019, right? And uh, MS Access, we are using the MS Access 2007, right? So uh, this is a mini project which has admin login and admin can perform certain operations, right? So the, this is a mini project, right, which uh, we have developed using the VB.NET, right. So for running this project, you must have the VB.NET and the MS Access on your system without uh, without uh, Visual Studio 2019 and uh, MS Access. This project can't be configured, right. So this is the minimum requirements, right. So you must have these both of the softwares for running this project, right. So for running this project, you need to open this project in the Visual Studio. And once you open it, just click on the start button. You will get all of the files list here. You can see the files list are available here, right? And once you click on the start button, it will start running. This is a splash form. It's loading here, right? And once it's load, then you will get the login form. So this is a login form, right? Here, this is only an admin login. So you need to enter the user ID and password. So the user ID is admin and the password is one, two, three, four, right? So once you log in, right? It will say the login successful and you can see there are uh, certain operations buttons are available here like register bus, bus report, book ticket, cancel ticket, register passenger, manage passenger, add new user, new user, new site. So these all correct applications we have implemented inside this project using the VB.NET and MS Access database. Once you click on the register bus, you can see all of the bus are here. You need to select the bus here and the bus name suppose I am entering super travel right and the catches number you can enter anything bus number you can enter anything fuel type right you can select the fuel type here from uh, number of seats right 40 and once you click on the register bus you can see the list of register bus here you can see this is the bus list right and then after that bus report you will be able to see all of the bus which has been registered if you want to delete any bus right just search uh, the bus and after that you can delete from here right and uh, suppose this one i want to delete right and uh, the four number i think uh, there is something issue here right so from here you can delete the bus right and then after that the book journey from here you can enter the passenger name gender and after that the journey tickets journey name means uh, which uh, journey uh, he has chosen Right. and the departure, destination, the arrival time and ticket fare price. So all informations you can enter here and after that once you click on the book ticket then that will be saved into the database and it will be listed here. Right. The next one is a cancel ticket from here you can cancel the ticket side. Right? So select the ticket number and after that you can cancel the ticket from here. Right. Like if I think the four, I think there is something issue again. Right. So I will check, right? Okay, so this is a cancel ticket operations, right? So register passenger from here, you can add the passenger list here, right? You can add the passengers here and uh, all of the information you can enter and emergency contact number. You can see this is all, this is the passenger details here, right? And then uh, you can fill and you can register the passenger here, right? So suppose I am adding any passenger, right? So passenger name is equal to Rahul and the gender is male, male, age, anything you can enter, uh, gender, sorry, the gender, it's a gender field, the age and the email, Rahul at the rate, gmail.com and then contact number, anything you can add here, contact number nationality right you can add the nationality you can add the state here right and the city name here really anything you can enter pin code you can enter any value name test contact number anything you can enter relationship okay, anything test right once you click on the register passenger then you can see the passenger has been registered here right the next one is a manage passenger from here you can manage the passenger here right the next one is add journey from here you can add the journey right currently we have two journey and passenger can add 
uh, can select only from these two journeys right so anything uh, enter you can enter and add the journey right this one view journey from here you can view the journey right and you can uh, select it right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project bus booking system so as i told you earlier this is a vb.net project in uh, vb.net and mx project and this is a mini project which has only and only admin login and we are using visual issue 2019 for running this project so if you need any enhancement inside this project if you need any new models inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much